crop integration allows a greater amount of crops to be grown in a smaller area. Stay tuned to find out more about crop integration. Please consider subscribing to support my channel. If you have a small area in which you are working with, your kitchen garden does not have to be limited to just a few crops. You can utilize a technique called crop integration. If you do not have a large area in which to do your kitchen garden like this, then crop integration is one of the best methods you can use to grow a large variety of crops in the small area that you would have. I have just completed planting this bed with hot peppers. I place them three feet apart. In between the hot peppers, I will be putting pak choy one foot apart. The pak choys are planted one foot apart in between the peppers. This gives them adequate space for their leaves to spread. In one month, the pak choy will be harvested, giving the peppers lots of room to spread their branches. Here we can see the entire bed planted with peppers and pak choy. Let's take a look at some of the other crops that could be combined in this manner. On this bank, we have a combination of cabbages and pimentos. The cabbages take a period of about three months to mature. By then, the pimentos would be ready to produce. As we can see here, a couple of weeks after, the cabbages and the pimentos seem to be doing very well together. If you are enjoying this video, don't forget to click like and subscribe. It goes a long way in helping us to produce more videos. On this bank, we have a combination of three different crops. We have sweet peppers, pimentos and cabbages. The sweet peppers has already started to produce. The cabbages still need an extra month and so does the pimentos. Most varieties of cabbage will be ready for harvest within three months. The pimentos will also start to produce after three months. Sweet peppers usually start producing in two months. On this bed, we have a combination of lettuce and tomatoes. Lettuce can be planted with tomatoes, as well as pak choy, cabbage, cauliflower, broccoli, and any of these type of vegetables. With any of these combination, the crops could be planted one foot apart. Lettuce, tomato, lettuce, tomato. This is my third crop of lettuce. The tomatoes have started to produce. If you wanted to do a combination of peppers and tomatoes, I would recommend you first plant the peppers three feet apart and then plant the tomatoes exactly between the peppers. I love planting lettuce together with tomatoes as they make excellent salads. Here we have another two of my favorite. On this bed we have okros and cucumbers. The okros will grow up as a shrub and the cucumbers will crawl on the ground 
as a vine. My entire garden is organic. I do not use any toxic chemicals. I do not use any pesticides or weedicide that is toxic. Because I do not use any toxic chemicals, it is very easy for me to harvest any of the produce and consume without having to consider if it has toxicity on it. This bed has a lot greater concentration of crops. It has cabbage, pak choy, lettuce, and sweet pepper. In between, there are some gota cola growing on this bank as well. If you have very limited space, then a combination like this would be able to produce a greater variety of vegetables for you. And once you harvest a specific crop like lettuce or pak choy, you can replant another in its place. The gota cola plant can be seen at the base of the lettuce plant here. Gota cola is used as a brain and nerve strengthener. It can be eaten raw, which tastes a lot like carrot skins, or it can be made into a tea or tonic. Gota cola is very good for your memory. And yet, on another bank, we have pak choy and bodhi. The pak choy is ready for harvest. The bodhi vine is now beginning to produce flowers. All of the pak choy on this bed will be harvested today. I will not replant any of them as the body is about to flower and this means the vines will take over the entire bank. This is how the body would flower. The young body looks like a little vine. After the flower produces the body, it only takes about five days before it is ready to harvest. This is what the body looks like after two days. Some of the body will be left to mature so we can get seed to plant the next generation but most of it will be harvested while young for consumption. Most gardeners will try to get rid of every insect they see on their plant. This ant does not mean the plant any harm. In fact, it drinks the nectar produced by the flower and in turn it protects the plant from any leaf-cutting insects that might crawl onto it. And this is another reason why I do not use any pesticides. This okra plant has started to produce. It is from a variety locally called the six-week okra. Some of the other okras that was planted takes longer. The six-week okra produces very quickly in six weeks, but has a very short lifespan, usually about three months. The cucumbers have started to produce. These okras are not of the six-week variety. They usually take about three months before they start to produce, but when they do start producing, they would produce for over six months. Okro is a member of the hibiscus family and is a great food source for persons suffering from diabetes 
as it helps reduce the absorption of sugar in the bloodstream. These beautiful cucumbers have started popping up all along the cucumber vine. Cucumbers are very delicious. I love picking them straight off the vine and consuming them right in the garden. The young cucumber are usually picked and eaten raw or with salads or sometimes pickled. But the matured cucumber like this one is usually cooked. In the countryside we cook curry cucumber with salt fish. It is very delicious. If you are enjoying this video don't forget to click like and subscribe. It goes a long way in helping us to produce more videos. I do hope this video has given you some ideas on crops that you can integrate together and probably even some methods you can use in integrating your crops. Crop integration is a good way to utilize the land that you may have to make your produce. These are some of the body that we have left to mature for seeds. My chives are growing very healthy. Soon they will fill this container. These young vines that you see here are usually called bitter gorg, but locally they are known as karaili. A trellis will be built for these vines to climb, much like the bodhi. This video was filmed over a period of about three months, so you can see the progress of the crops that has been integrated. This fruit tree and fruit is known as the Ikako fruit. Locally, it is called Zikak or fat pork.
If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to support my channel.